Renee, is it not my kid? This is a group that's uh, I think it's got a, a, a good mission. Oh, right? it has um, so many good great, message. Yeah, yeah, great resources for bullying, talking to your kids about drugs and alcohol. Renee, you're there at the new campus. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, guys. Of course, over the pandemic, we really saw mental health issues rise all across the valley. And so an expanded mental health issues also included and expand here at Not My Kid uh, that's been serving Valley teens and families for 21 years. And I'm talking to Shane Watson this morning. Good morning, Shane. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Uh, such important work that you guys do. Tell me a little bit about Not My Kid. Not My Kid is a nonprofit that offers the full continuum of mental health Health and wellness programs to kids, to families. We offer everything from prevention programs all the way to outpatient treatment and everything in between as well. Shane, so many families right now are struggling with kids that were out of school, didn't have the social interaction, didn't have the safety nets sometimes that our local schools provide. You've seen a huge uptick in mental health concerns. How are you helping? We already had a mental health crisis in this country. The response to the pandemic has made that even bigger. What we're doing is we're offering a variety of programs. So no matter where somebody is at in their mental health and wellness journey, we will meet them there. Some parents just want to be preventative. We've got programs for that. In the middle, we've got early intervention. And then if kids need peer support or they need the outpatient treatment, wherever they are, we have something available for them. And of course, today we're talking about your new facility. Tell me how your new facility plays a role. The well by not my kid is a 13,000 square foot facility where we are going to have a wide variety. Now I mentioned some of the programs that we have already. We are expanding to include yoga, meditation, art therapy, support groups, you name it. So it's not just about addressing the, addressing the problem, it's about treating the person as a whole person. It's hard to sometimes pick up on mental health issues. What do you have to tell our parents out there that are listening today? What are we looking for? changes in behavior. We are experts in our own kids. You know your kids better than anyone. What is normal tone of voice, body language, facial expressions, etc. If you see multiple changes in your child over a period of several days, something's going on. Sit down, recognize it, take action, begin a conversation. If you don't know where to go from there, contact us at Not My Kid. We will help you and guide you along that journey. Now, sometimes we hear things and you hear it, it was too late, but you've talked about that it isn't too early necessarily. How do we address that? An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. There is no harm in intervening too early or ideally preventing these issues from occurring in the first place. So even if a family has not detected an issue with their child, we still have programs to keep them healthy, to keep them on that healthy track. And so prevention, if you can put some time into prevention, it's gonna save you a lot more time, trouble and heartache down the road. And we can probably imagine some of the more intensive programs when you get into a situation where you have someone that's struggling. But talk to me a little bit about those prevention programs. What do those look like? We've been doing those prevention programs in Valley Schools for 21 years. That's how Not My Kids started. We send young adult peer educators out to speak to kids on mental and behavioral health topics. When they see someone who is young, who's relatable, and has often gone through that challenge themselves and has since overcome it, there's an instant rapport and there's an instant connection. We do the same for adults as well. We send out adult speakers to speak to adults and reach them with that life-saving information. How do we get a hold of you? NotMyKid.org. Once again, NotMyKid.org is the website and there's information about two upcoming open houses we're having here at the well in November and December also. And give us your address. 5310 East Shea Boulevard. It changed recently so it took me a second. <laughs> 5310 East Shea Boulevard in Scottsdale 85254. Shane, such an important information uh, topic this morning with mental health with young people. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Yeah, guys, back to you in the studio.